Hello and welcome to another month of Demo Dan, where we learn about new features in Jira. My name is Ivan, and today I'm joined by Lisa. We are both product managers from Jira. Lisa, when you're building a new feature that has a dependency on another team, how do you give your team visibility into that dependency? Yeah, it can be a challenge, whether it's related work or a hard dependency. I find that the team want to be able to see how their work relates to work happening outside of the team, but within the context of their rituals and while staying on the same view. Yeah, so Lisa and I experience this pain every other day and we decide to join forces to build link issues in Jira bots where we allow users to see dependencies and relate work directly on their bot as well as link issues from the bot cards directly as well. Let's see how it works. Let's say you're on the bot view of your software project. Previously, you had to waste time opening and closing each issue to be able to see the link issues for that particular card. Now, you don't have to. All you need to do is to go to your view settings for bot view, and you'll be able to toggle on and off the link issues field for all the bot cards. This is a user-centric view that's only for you, so others will not be able to see link issues if they do not want to. After you have it enabled, you can click on the link issues icon to see which issues are being linked to this particular card, as well as the link issue relationships that's connecting the link issues to this card. In this case, we can see that this card is blocking these two other link issues. We can also see that these four issues is blocking this card. Some other things you can see include the issue type, the issue key, summary, and the status of each of the link issues. If you're not keen to keep a link issue, you can unlink them directly from the pop-up. You can also create new issue links from here as well. Two other ways you'll be able to create new issue links include clicking on the meatball menu for each of the card, as well as clicking on the context menu by right-clicking to bring up the context menu for each card. When you're viewing the model to select an issue to link, you can choose a group of issues to link with a specific issue link relationship. There's a total of 17 link issue relationships you can choose from. You can also create a new link issue if the issue you want to link does not exist today, and it will link to the parent card where you click it from. Now that we've seen how it works for software projects, let's see how it works on business projects. Linked issues on business projects has very similar functionality when viewing, linking, and adding new linked issues. There are a few small differences which I'll point out. You can toggle on and off linked issues specific to your view. Simply click more in the top right corner, customize cards, and then you can toggle on linked issues. From there, you can navigate to the linked issues icon and see the relationships that are connected to the linked issues on this card. We've also added the ability to see due dates, with overdue due dates highlighted in red. If this is a feature you'd like to see on software projects, let us know on the community post. From there, you can go on to unlink issues, link issues, as well as add new issues that are automatically linked. Linked issues lets you and your team get a quick glance of dependencies and related work, as well as link new issues directly from the board. So if you've got any feedback whatsoever about the experience for linked issues in Jira bots, please feel free to comment on the community post so that we know and we can iterate on the experience to make it better. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.